Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm pretty excited. I, I actually got a, a question from one of my subscribers and I made another video where I was talking about, you know, the passion about making games and how much time I actually spend in making games. And there, there was a question in, in that they wanted to know more about, you know, what kind of practices do I follow whenever I'm, you know, organizing tasks and, and basically project management. So I, I got to tell you that when I started making games, I, like many of you, I, I was, you know, super excited about jumping in and working in the game engine and, you know, basically starting, started to tweak the game and creating the game and, and the practicing part of the game, you know, the game process. And, and that part, it's, it's really cool. It's really great because you get to, you know, actually create the game, you create the mechanics, you create the levels. But I gotta tell you that one of the things that I learned is that I actually needed to do, you know, get organized. I, I couldn't just jump in and, and start making, you know, start making a game without actually having, having a lot of details. And, you know, there were times when I was jumping in and, and just, you know, going with my God and working on mechanics, working on levels, but I didn't really have anything organized. So the thing that I, that I always tell everybody that asks me, tell me how do you manage your projects? How do you go about working on a task? How do you know what you need to work on? And, and that's something that, you know, I don't really, I didn't really know when I started. I, like many of you, I, I started without, you know, any knowledge of, about making a game, any knowledge about making a, a project. And I work in other companies where, you know, I make apps and, and websites and, and a lot of different things that are also software, but I never actually made a game like I, you know, like I've been doing for the last five years. So when I, when I first started, I, I didn't know. I just jump in. I, I, I went with, like I was saying, with my gut. So the thing that I, that I learned is that you actually have to become a project manager. You have to, you know, start thinking about, okay, what, how much time I, am I, am I going to be spending on, on the game? Am I using my time? correctly can I optimize my time and and that's the thing that I that I think about it is every time that I'm working on on the game I try to you know break the game into into features so if you're working on a game and you know it's a very large game make sure that you're you're breaking it up into features and, and for me features work well I, I work with uh, with a very small team so a feature might be you know might be a mechanic and and the mechanic might be, might be, you know, I need to demolish a building and I need to use bombs and I need to use, you know, a different type of, of ex explosive device. And I, I give you that, I give you that example because that's what I'm, I'm what, that's what I'm building right now. And another, another mechanic might be, okay, now I need to use, you know, I, I have a bulldozer, which is basically I used to also help demolish some of the buildings. So that might be a different mechanic. So that it's a feature. But within that feature, you will have a lot of different tasks. You might need to, so I need to design the actual 3D model that represents the, the bulldozer. And I might need to, you know, design the code, the actual mechanic that is gonna basically, you know, react to what I do in the game. I might need to design, you know, another task might be, I need to actually add a button to the game to the UI so that I can actually trigger that mechanic. So those tasks are, you know, could be small enough. I would say try to make sure that the tasks don't take you more than one to two days. And in the feature as a whole, I've been doing doing about four to five days, as most a week. And, you know, the, the, the reason I do that is so that I can, you know, I can focus on a specific aspects of the game. If I, if I don't have that visibility, then I'm gonna be working on things that I might, I might not need. And the cool thing about that is I can actually be refining. So with the refining process, I might look at, okay, this next week I'm gonna be working on, you know, these two features. But the following week I need to work on another feature. But, you know, as I work on the first feature, I might realize things that I might need for the next feature. And by working, you know, by having that plan ahead of time, it gives me a lot of ideas on, you know, how I might implement the next feature. And, and a lot of times I might have enough, you know, knowledge about what, I, what I'm gonna be working on the next week that, you know, I know exactly what I need to do. And in that, in that case, I don't, I don't waste a lot of time thinking about, okay, how am I gonna be doing it? 
what you know what details do i need to incorporate what how am i going to be approaching that mechanic there's going to be a lot of prototyping don't get me wrong but the more the more project management that you do on your games you know from the very beginning and if you you know by all means try to create a game document a game design document and i didn't do that at the beginning either and now i'm doing it more and the cool thing with you know getting the features and getting the tasks is the game design document allows me to get a lot of details in you know before i actually start working on the game so with with the game that i'm working on right now it's really cool because i had a game design document from the very beginning the tasks that i needed to actually accomplish were actually to complete the game design document and, and now i'm working based on that document i'm working on features that i got from the document tasks that i got from the features and then on a daily basis i'm working off you know some of the tasks that i got from some of those details so if you you know if you're thinking about working on, a, on the game and you haven't started working on a game make sure that you're doing project management i i get a lot of questions from people uh, that tell me dilmer i i don't have a lot of time i'm a i'm a solo indie developer you know i have enough time to work on the game but i don't have time to work on you know the project management piece and if you don't work on the project management piece you're not going to finish that game and and I'm, i want to be as honest as i can because you need to be documenting that process before you work on it and, and the the reality of that is if you, if you do that it's going to allow you to finish that game much faster because you're going to be optimizing your time to you know to basically the documentation that you had created previously so that's basically what i wanted to talk to you about today if you guys have any questions let me know through the comments don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share this video thank you guys